I'm George Scott, owner of Scott Home Inspection. Thanks for watching our informational video. Today's topic is radon. How is it created? How do you measure it? And how do you mitigate for it if you have high levels of radon in your home? In Colorado, and all along the Front Range, we have a lot of uranium in our soil bed. The decay of the uranium is what causes radon to develop. Radon's a gas. It comes up out of the soil naturally as the uranium decays. The particle is very light. It travels up in the air when it's outside and out of harm's way very quickly. In the home, radon's trapped. It's a gas that we breathe in. If the level's high enough as we're breathing it in, it sticks to our lung tissue. As it decays, it releases a radioactive particle. That particle, if the concentration is high enough, can lead to the development of lung cancer. That's the reason radon measurement is so important in homes. Radon testing is performed by setting a radon test device in the lowest area of the home that could be occupied. This is typically a basement in most homes. If there's no basement, then it's put on the first floor of the home the test device is set approximately 20 inches off of the floor, away from outside walls, centrally located if possible. A bedroom is a good location or a hallway area between bedrooms is a good spot as well. The test device is set, the device is turned on and activated, and measurements begin. These type of boxes make a measurement every hour and that is averaged over the minimum 48 hour test period. At the end of the test, we retrieve the test device, hook it up to our computers, and we're able to get an immediate result on what the radon average levels are in the home and whether we recommend further action such as mitigating the home if the levels are high. As part of radon testing, closed house conditions have to be met during the test. This is prescribed in the EPA protocols. So during a short-term test, all the windows in the home have to remain closed you can go in and out of doors as you normally would. You can use your heat system and air conditioning, but maintaining closed house conditions is important to get a good and accurate test. When we do a, a radon test, we leave a letter that describes for the homeowner or the occupant exactly what needs to be done. The equipment we utilize has a motion sensor and barometric pressure sensors included that will tell us if the test has been compromised and is inaccurate. If the levels of radon turn out to be high in your home, then we'll recommend a mitigation system be installed to help reduce the levels. The pictures you're seeing now show examples of radon mitigation systems already installed on homes. A mitigation system consists of a fan that runs 24 hours a day that acts as a vacuum or a suction point to extract radon from the home. A ventilation pipe runs from the basement or the lowest level. If you have a basement, a hole will be drilled in the slab of the home or potentially a sump pump is used as an entry point. The radon pipe is inserted and acts as a vacuum point that draws radon out from under the slab. That radon is pulled by the fan and the pipe extends up above the home and vents the radon safely away from the home. If you have a home on a crawl space, You'll need a full continuous vapor barrier sealing the soil of the crawl space with a vent pipe that runs under the vapor barrier to act as a vacuum point to pull the radon out underneath the plastic sheeting to help vent the home with a crawl space. Mitigation is important to be performed by an EPA certified company. So hopefully today you've learned a little bit more about radon. What's the cause of it? How do we measure for it? And how do you mitigate for it if you have high levels? At Scott Home Inspection, we'd be glad to perform a radon test for you. All our technicians are EPA certified. We use all calibrated continuous radon monitors, and we'd be glad to do testing for you to understand what the levels are in your house. Check out our website, scotthomeinspection.com forward slash radon for more information or give us a call. We'd be glad to talk through things with you. Thanks for watching today's video.